All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Module 2 Technology corner again and scroll down to uh, where it says using Excel to generate a random number between 1 and 10. Uh, right underneath the video is the formula, so I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. And go ahead and uh, highlight that and copy it. I'll go to my Excel sheet and in the first cell of column A uh, is where I'm going to click and up here in the formula bar I'm going to go ahead and paste the formula there's no tweaking that you have to do to this uh, simply press enter and I'll go back and click into uh, the first cell of column A and my particular problem wants me to generate I believe uh, 14 data points so what I'm going to do is another uh, pro gamer move here and in the lower right hand corner I'll click and hold on the box and just drag down to 14 and there we have it those are our random numbers <coughs> um, now what I'm going to do is right click and copy and I'll click the first cell of column B and just like in the last video, I'm going to paste values. That way they remain the same. And as you can see, the values in column A uh, just regenerated. So these are the uh, values that either represent, you know, a person with a left, you know, that is left-handed or a person that is right-handed. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind that a 1 indicates a person that is left-handed, whereas anything that is different from 1 indicates a person that is right-handed. Uh, so now on to generating the uh, pie chart, or the pie chart, <coughs> as I like to call it. Uh, what I'm going to do is click into, uh, you could either do column C or column D, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll do column D, and in the first cell I'm just going to indicate that this is um, you know, a class uh, of people that are left-handed, and then, you know, a class of the people that are uh, right-handed. And I'm going to do another... Uh, I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. And another one of them, actually. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is go back to Blackboard, uh, Module 2 Technology Corner, and I'm going to scroll down to where there's verbiage about the count if function in Excel. It says using count if in Excel. Um, somewhere in the mix here, there is the formula. I'm going to go ahead and highlight, copy that. And, you know, in this cell right here, <coughs> you want to have that clicked. Go up to your formula bar and then paste it in there. Now, you're seeing on my screen that it's highlighting uh, all the cells that go from 1 down to 1,000 in column A. We actually want to count the number of 1s that uh, we have present in column B, if any. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just kind of tweak the formula a little bit. Instead of, B1, I'm sorry, instead of A1, I want that to be B1. And instead of A1,000, I'm going to delete that, make sure you keep the colon there. Um, the last cell that has a number in it in column B uh, happens to be uh, 14, so I'll, I'll type in B14. And then the number to the right of the comma there is a 3, so th th this is actually counting the number of 3's in there. We want it to count the number of 1's, so I'm going to delete that and press 1, and then hit enter. And it returns a value of 1, meaning that there should just be one left-hander uh, that is present in our uh, 14 uh, numbers that were randomly generated and you know it's not a terribly large data set here you, you can see that there's just one one that's in there so there's just one uh, person that is left-handed um, in that uh, randomly uh, generated set of 14 people so as for the number of right-handers uh, since you know we generated 14 data values and one of them is left-handed uh, that must mean that the rest are right-handed, so you simply do 14 minus 1 to get 13. Enter that in there. <coughs> and now it's time for uh, the rest of the pie graph, or the pie chart. Uh, what I'd like to do is click the Insert tab, and over here we are seeing what looks like a little pie chart. 
I'm going to go ahead and click the down arrow and we want a 2D Pi and you can click the first one of those and it automatically pops up a little uh, pie chart. Uh, and you can tweak some of this stuff. You could tweak the chart title, which I recommend doing. Um, and you'll see that the, the two different colors have their designations at the bottom, kind of like a little key or legend here. Uh, the portion of the graph that's in blue represents the uh, proportion of left-handed people. And then the portion that's in uh, orange represents the proportion of right-handed people. Now what I'd like to do is actually show you how you can add some labels to each of these two sections. Uh, what you can do is just right click somewhere in the actual pie chart itself. And when you do that, you should have a little window that pops up. Somewhere near the bottom it says add data labels. And so I click that and it tells you how many people are left handed and how many people are right handed, like literally. So like literally one person is left handed uh, in the group and 13 are right handed. Uh, do keep in mind that the analysis asks that you provide the percentage of people that are left-handed. So you can actually get that percentage quickly from this uh, pie graph in Excel. Uh, what I'm going to do is right-click it, and a window pops up again that looks a little bit different than the one before it. Uh, towards the bottom, you should see where it says Format Data Labels. So I'll go ahead and click that, and I get this little window that pops up to the right. Um, <clears throat> somewhere in the mix uh, you should see the option to select percentage uh, you can go ahead and do that and what's kind of confusing about what you're seeing right now after you click it is you're seeing two different um, points of view in terms of the data you see like one comma seven percent the one means you know the usual there's just one person in the group of 14 uh, the seven percent represents you know one out of 14 um, you know, th that, that's the percentage that would correspond to uh, 1 out of 14. Um, I would, you know, if you would just like to see the percent, you can, you know, click the uh, value box and it gets rid of it. And there you have uh, the proportions kind of in a, you know, clearer uh, way of seeing it. <coughs> so, you know, 7% of our uh, sample, you know, was left handed and then 93% uh, were right handed. All right, so, um, you know, of course, you know, edit your title and then uh, you know, you'll have to you know, save it and, and upload it and, and directions for uh, doing all that should be uh, within Blackboard or the assignment itself. All right, so if you have any questions for me whatsoever, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I hope you find this video helpful and uh, you guys have a great day.